Hello fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and today I am going to be doing my very first plan with me video. I absolutely love watching these, so I thought it might be fun to sort of uh, do one of my own and sort of show you my take on planning. I'm definitely more of a minimalist. I don't use a ton of deco, but I do have a method that I like to follow, and today I'm actually going to change a couple things up a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, but in any case, I hope that this is useful in some way to you out there. Uh, so I am in the Hobonichi Weeks, and this is a new cover for me. Uh, I'm still super duper enamored with it. It's from Hand Stitch Leather Tea, and it's their trifold cover, and I absolutely adore it. This is in the Natural. And um, I always have my food log on the left-hand side. And here is my weeks. This is the 2023 Disney Aristocats. So this is my current weekly spread, and this is generally what I will normally do. Um, on the far left-hand side, I have like appointments and then uh, primary tasks that have to be completed on those particular days. I also will put like little thoughts and whatnot during the course of the day. Uh, along there as well. I have another column here that just sort of does like a highlight something that stuck with me or just like if I was having a good day if I was having a bad day. Um, on the memo side I always have a tracker which I track pretty much the same things all the time but I always have a couple extra spaces just in case you need to add anything new. Um, a to-do list. I've always been uh, separating this on the left hand side I have like social media and stuff and then on the right hand side I have like more personal to-do lists and then uh, below that there's ink obsession whatever ink I'm using as a highlight or just I'm using all the time uh, and then I have currently is like what I'm reading what I'm uh, listening to and what I'm watching on television or in the movie theater and that's that's generally my whole process um you can see I don't use a ton of deco usually it's in the ink and for whatever reason my ink was not well mixed and this is adventuring which is much prettier than whatever kind of muddy thing this is right now so ignore that but um, usually I'll have like a somewhat more contrasting color so that you can sort of pick up on that and the I have a handful of pens that I always use uh, my primary uh, fountain pen that I use in this is my Elite 95 S. Uh, it's a great pen. It's getting a lot of attention these days. I think maybe because Goulet Pens did a video on it recently. And so like everybody's talking about it. I will say I've used it for about half a year every single day. And I absolutely love it. I loved it from the get go. And it's still phenomenal six months down the line. Uh, so it is a great pen. Just putting that out there. Uh, and I almost always have this inked with uh, Vinta Inks Armada. It's a beautiful, beautiful, super shady uh, gray, and I just really like gray inks. Um, I use two fine liners, uh, a 0.1 and a 0.3 from uh, Uni, and it's their pin fine liner. It's waterproof and fade proof. It's great. Uh, this week, I'm going to be using Tombow's 772 uh, as like a little bit of a highlight. And then my headers are going to be done in a Rytec sign brush pen. They don't name them color the colors. I don't know why, but they don't. It's super affordable pen though, and I love them. Uh, this is from the vintage line. It's this sort of like mm, purpley plummy color. Oh, and the stickers that I'm using are, I have no idea what license this is, but they're super duper cute. There's like a cute girl with longer hair and a cat and a bunny. Uh, but it's, it's very cute. I'm using it this month. And then my 
feature pen, I think is, or feature ink, I should say, is going to be Ferris Wheel Presses Blushing Mushroom. And this is my Twisby Diamond AL Mini. And I believe it's an extra fine. So the thing that I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do a little bit differently is one, I'm going to start re highlighting the days. I, I had been doing that last year and then I just kind of skipped it so far this year. I don't know why, but it does like add a nice little pop of color and it's just something super simple. And again, this is Tombow's 772. I love this shade. I use it all the time. It's like a lovely sort of neutral kind of pink. And then I use a clear plastic ruler from Westcott. I think it's like 86 cents on Amazon. And I just use this six inch. And for this, I do the heavier lines that break up the boxes. And I almost always use my 0.3 fine liner. And the last couple weeks, I've gotten this weird sort of skip and I have no idea why, but let's fingers crossed that it doesn't happen this week. Da -dung! Did not. Uh, so this week I'm also going to try something a little bit different rather than having the two columns for social media and then personal. I think I'm going to break down the boxes. And again, no skip, no skip, no skip, no skip, no skip. And do social media here. I don't know why I was starting to cap that. <laughs> now for the moment, I will cap it. What else do we check? <laughs> so I think those are all the things I usually will track. I do tend to leave an extra space just in case I think of something.
so I think those are all my sections and what I would use the Ritec for. Again, this one is my Twisby Diamond AL Mini. I really do like this one and it's Ferris Wheel Press's Blushing Mushroom. I love shimmer inks. I know that they're sort of controversial and not everybody loves them, but I don't know. It just makes me smile when I see the ink shimmering on the page. Okay, current leaves. And I just finished the book that I was reading, so that's why I'm leaving that blank for right now. Okay, so do I want to divide the boxes? I do. And as far as to do's, I generally have like a pretty standard set of things that I do. <laughs> Actually, you know, what? I'm going to fill out my week so that I can grab from there. So I've talked about before how I try really hard to keep my work stuff out of my personal planner, but that definitely ekes over for certain things like events, especially evening events that I have to run. Like this Monday I have our um, what's cooking potluck that I have to bake a cake for. So that definitely ekes into my personal life. Um, and then the Tuesday I have a teen tasting event and that will as well. So those definitely go in. And then Saturday, there's this really cool uh, West African dance program that we're doing. And so that totally changes my Friday and Saturday schedule. So those do always end up in my book. And I always have to label recycling day because I 100% forget every single time <laughs> otherwise. Okay. 
and the IP deck. Okay, so Okay. And as the week goes by, I always end up adding more to the to-do list and it always ends up overflowing, but that is what it is. Uh, so at this point, if I feel like doing deco, I will. And I do, like I said, um, use these stickers uh, right now. I really like them. They're odd and really, really cute. Though I have no idea what this is from. So let's see. Uh, all I know is that I found them on AliExpress, which always happens that way. Which ones do I want to use? Really, and that's probably all of the deco that I will do. It's not, I I never add that many stickers. I don't know. I just, I just don't. And it looks so cute on other people's planners, but when I try and do it, it ends up looking wicked cluttered. And so I just stick to a handful that I just randomly place where I think it looks cute. And that's really it. So this is really what my weekly plan looks like. Um, I will, like I said, definitely add more uh, so that it will end up being quite full by the end of the week. Like it, it, it ends up being a bit of a memory keeper and a planner altogether. Uh, and I really do like this kind of look, which is probably why it's good that I don't put a huge amount of deco because it would just not work for me at that point. Uh, and we'll see how adding the SM column will help out uh, with planning more of my like Instagram and YouTube stuff but we shall see. Uh, so anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. If this was at all entertaining or useful to you, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, and with that, I'm going to close out the episode. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.